there's different stories, and you probably should ask Callie this, but we were walking uh, downtown Charleston. We, we knew that we wanted to do this idea. We didn't want to call it. And there was some business down there we saw, something like the Red Dog or like the Turquoise Dog or something like that. And we thought, oh, what about Blue Deer, you know? This lot we're on was actually my father's lot. This was the firewood shack for a long time. People would come through here, buy firewood, and we thought, man, what a great place. Maybe turn this into something, and it's, it's cool to see this take off because, in essence, we're in the middle of nowhere. We're across from a concrete plant and a landscaping place, you know, and who would think this would be the place where you can get cookies and ice cream? We knew we wanted to go with the food truck idea and the camper, and we originally had it, I forgot the year of the camper. It was like a 1960-something uh, zipper camper from Camden, South Carolina. I bought it in Old Fort, North Carolina. And uh, back in the day, those campers were made with real thin plywood walls. And we thought we could serve it right out of it, but it was just too far gone. So we ended up having to take it all the way down to the frame. And we built it all the way back up. Uh, it's it's our little camper. We're proud of it. Man. It's, it's what it is. And it's kind of kind of a high idea behind this one and the little one now now the little one we did we just got it done back in uh first of august and uh we actually didn't have to do anything to it but we took inspiration from the big camper and the little campers you know, the mini version i think the next step is to make people feel like number one they're welcome to serve because i think customer service is big and that's kind of where the fate thing comes in but also you know creating a party you know an atmosphere and, and right now they're uh they are uh, people are waiting for the cookies, but they don't mind waiting because they they love they enjoy being with the lights, they enjoy being with their friends, they enjoy listening to music. We have cornhole, um, so it is. It's setting up just a party atmosphere where people don't mind coming out here in the middle of nowhere to have uh, have dessert. So that's kind of uh, we do. It's, it's a community atmosphere where uh, people just want to have fun. You know, want to enjoy themselves. You know, so.